What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over how to get your own custom.com email. So using your domain name, if you have example.com, how to create something like admin at example.com. So I'm gonna go through the step-by-step -step process of how to do this. And the way I do it is with Google Cloud, with G Suite specifically. So if you go to gsuite.google.com, you can find this page right here and we can get started. Now, one thing to keep in mind, in order to do this, there is a charge. So if we come over to pricing real quick, you can see they have three different plans here. They have basic, business, and enterprise. So I'm just gonna be using the basic plan here. So they do have a free trial, so you can get started with a free trial, but otherwise it's $6 per user per month, and you also get 30 gigabytes of storage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on get started here under basic. Otherwise, just from the main G Suite page, you can click on get started there. It'll bring you to the same place. So this is where we're gonna get started here. I'm gonna be doing this today for my domain name, farmhousegoals.com. So what I have open in my other browser is I have my farmhousegoals.com hosting account open, which is gonna allow me to verify that I do own this domain name. So you're gonna to have to make sure you obviously own your domain name and you're gonna need access to your hosting account to make sure you make a few changes so you can verify that you own it. So we're gonna come back over here to G Suite. So first we're gonna start with a business name. Okay, so it's gonna be farmhouse goals there. Number of employees, including you. So for this, just put the number of employees you have for your company. If it's just you, do just you. So whatever it is for you. For farmhouse goals, I'm gonna do just me for right now. Country, it's gonna be United States for me. And if we click on this drop down right here, you just wanna select your country from this menu. So we're just gonna use United States here and click on next. Okay, so what's my contact info? So enter your first name, last name, and current email address. So I'm gonna enter that now. Okay, so Corey Frankowski and Corey at surfsideppc.com. So here's another example of a custom domain name right here. What we're gonna do is click on next again. Does your business have a domain? So we're gonna say, yes, we have one we can use. If you need one, you can go right here and do no, I need one. And you can actually buy one directly through Google domains. But I have one already that I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna click right here. What's my business's domain name? So this is where you enter your domain name here. Okay, farmhousegoals.com. Now I'm gonna click on next. Okay, so it's gonna be use this domain to set up the account. Yes, we're gonna click on next. Just double check you entered your domain correctly. Click on next. How you'll sign in. So this is where you create your username and your password here for your sign in. So I'm gonna enter mine now. So enter the username that you wanna use. So I'm gonna do admin at farmhousegoals.com. I entered my password here and then just make sure you click here so it's I'm not a robot, the recaptcha, and then we're gonna click on agree and continue. Okay, next we're gonna sign in to continue to the admin console. We're gonna click on next here and we're gonna enter our password again that we entered in the previous step. So make sure you obviously write down your password, click on next. Okay, so now it's gonna say welcome to your new account. So we're gonna click on accept here. So now it's gonna say review your payment plan, try G Suite free for 14 days, and then after that it's $6 per user per month. So you can add more email addresses, it just costs $6 per user. So no long-term commitment, we can cancel at any time. It's saying pay each month, so it's gonna start 14 days from today's date, and then you can add or remove users as needed. So if you hire new employees, you can always add more people to your plan. If you have a promotion code, enter it here. I don't have one, I'm not gonna look for one, but you can always just look for one real quick and see if you can find one. We're gonna click on next here. Okay, so the next thing is gonna be to review and check out. So I'm gonna have to skip over this process in the video, but what you wanna do is come down here. You're gonna have to enter your address here, city, state, zip code. You're gonna have your primary contact, so it's generally just gonna be you, and the email that you're setting up. And then you have to set up a payment method, which for this, I'm gonna be using a credit card. So I'm gonna go through this process real quick and then go on to the next steps after this. Okay, so once you enter your information in the previous step, it's gonna say your G Suite account has been created. So we're ready to continue to set up. Okay, welcome to the admin console, just click on next. Okay, so the first thing is gonna be activate your Gmail for farmhousegoals.com route your emails to Gmail inboxes. So we're gonna click on activate. Okay, so it's gonna say ready to activate Gmail for farmhousegoals.com. Update domain settings to route emails to Gmail. So that's the one of the main things we're gonna to have to do. Verify that we added the records and then we can start using G Suite. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is route our emails to Gmail. So you're gonna see here, we need to add MX records to our domain settings. So you're gonna see MX records are like a post office for your email. When someone sends you an email, your MX records knows how to deliver it to your Gmail inbox. So what you need to do is open your domain's host. So for example, if I'm in Bluehost here and I'm opening Bluehost as my domain host, what I would do is I would come over here to domains and I'd come down here and it's gonna say, please select a domain. So I'd select my domain from the list. 
Now, right now, I have my name servers pointing to Cloudflare. So you're going to see here, I have my name servers pointing to Cloudflare, which is a content delivery network. So that actually allows me to speed up my website a little bit. So if I was just using my default name servers here, so if I selected right there, then what I would need to do is come back over here to main and through my domain, I would come here to DNS zone editor to manage my DNS records. So you can also find this at the top here, zone editor. What you need to do is make sure you edit your DNS records. So click right here and you would see right here, DNS zone editor. So you would select your domain from the list. We'd scroll down. You're going to see all these different records here. So what you would do is you would create a record and type is going to be MX when you're creating it here. Now for me, I'm going to be creating it in Cloudflare. So if we come back over here, you're going to see they've detected that my domain host is Cloudflare. So I'm going to be doing this all through my Cloudflare account. So they have free plans if you want to set it up for your own website. Very simple. All you need to do is create an account and then just set your name servers, the two name servers they have here. And it's as simple as that to get started. Okay, so since we're doing everything through Cloudflare, I'm going to open my Cloudflare account here. And what you're going to do is come over to DNS. So wherever you're doing this, you want to edit your DNS settings. So we're going to come over here where we can activate our Gmail account. So our custom Gmail account for our domain, we're going to keep scrolling down. And what we want to do is you first sign into your domain host. So we're signed into Cloudflare, go to your MX records, Cloudflare dashboard, select website and go to DNS. So that's where I am right now. So now we're on to step four. So add MX records for Gmail. So we're going to scroll down here and you're going to see there's some different options here as we're adding records. I'll show you that in a minute. Keep scrolling down, click on the value fields. So the first thing we need to do is add an MX record and we're going to enter points to to this specific domain name right here. It's going to say don't include a period at the end of the record. So we're going to come back over here and what we're going to do is we're going to add a record and under type here, we're going to select MX from the list. So we're going to select MX right here and you're going to see name, mail server and priority. So what we're going to do for name, we're just going to put at here. So we're just going to enter the at symbol. It's going to say handles mail for farmhouse goals.com mail server is where we're going to copy and paste what they gave us earlier. So we come back over here. We're going to copy and paste that into there and the priority field will just be one. So we're going to come over here. Priority will just be one and we can click on save. Okay. So we have our first MX record there. So now we're going to come back over here and we're going to keep scrolling down. And what we need to do is add these other MX records as well. So we're going to come here. We're going to copy this right here. So this is going to be our MX server address. We're going to come back over and what we're going to do is type is still going to be MX. The mail server will be that. And we're just going to be using at again right here and priority for this one will be five and we can click on save. And now we need to come back over here. And what we do is we can copy this next one. Priority is going to be five again. So we're going to come back over, copy and paste this into server at again for name. And then priority will be five. We'll click on save. And now we just need to add the two other ones. Okay, so this is going to be the next one. And the last one will just be alt four. So we're just going to add this one right here. Click on save and the last and final one. So we'll use at copy and paste this. It's going to be alt four priority 10 and click on save. So now we're adding these MX records. This can be able to handle all of our mail. So when someone does send an email address to us, it'll go to our Gmail inbox. So we're going to come back over here. We're going to keep scrolling down. Okay. So now the next thing we need to do is take our verification code here. We need to copy it. So we'll just come over here, click on copy and we need to add this as well. So the priority for this one is going to be 15. It's going to be another MX record. And in the server field, we're just going to enter this verification record. So we're going to come back over to Cloudflare. Okay, so we're going to copy and paste that right here in the server field. Name will be at priority will be 15 and we're going to click on save. Okay, so now we're going to come back over to activate it. And now all we need to do is click on this activate Gmail button. Okay, so there's just confirming that the right records are added. So now it's going to say verify your MX records for farmhousegoals.com. You can close this page and return later one hour remaining. So we're going to have to wait an hour to make sure that we have all of this set up properly. Okay, so we're all set now. So all we needed to do was set up our G Suite account. You do have to pay monthly for this, but you can start with a free trial. However, it's worth the cost. I have it for my own Corey at surfsideppc.com and I've never had an issue at all with it. You're using Gmail and you have it set up for your custom domain. So it's worth the investment and you also get access to Drive, Calendar and all these different tools with Google and you get some additional storage as well. So if we come over here real quick, what I can do is just click here and you can see I have my new admin at farmhousegoals.com email completely set up. So if I go to gmail.com, 
and we open it, it's going to say welcome, your favorite email has a fresh new look. So there might be a little prompt before you can get completely started. So we're going to click on next. You can choose the view that you want. So there's different views. I'll just keep it as default for right now. Click on OK. And now you can see we have everything set up. We can set our signature for our email, change our profile picture, learn how to use Gmail. But everything is now through our admin at farmhousegoals.com email. So if I come over here and I click on compose and let's just say I send an email to myself, okay, click on send. And now we come over to our sent folder. You're gonna see I sent an email to myself and it's gonna be from admin at farmhousegoals.com. So just in case you can, can't see that too well here. And there you go, so there's my new email. So I'm gonna start receiving email to this email and any email that I send is gonna be from this email. So now one other thing I wanna show you real quick is if you do have a hosting account and you go to your cPanel, you might have an option here. So you're gonna see email just to set up G Suite just like this. So if we click on this, you can actually just go through it through your own hosting account. You're still gonna to have to pay for it, but your hosting account will help you set it up. So you're able to get your custom Gmail account using this method as well. Now the way I showed you is gonna work no matter how you have your domain set up. And if you're using Cloudflare, I've never actually done it through my hosting account while using Cloudflare. So if you have any issues with that, it might be easier just to set it up using the manual method that I just showed in the video. But either way, you're gonna be able to have your own custom email name just like this one right here. It's a great way to set up a custom email to your domain name and it's gonna be a little bit more professional for your business so you're not using a standard Gmail email account, you have it actually set up for your own domain. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.